Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to uh, set up your Roku streaming stick. And to kind of show you what it comes with, you have the actual stick here uh, on top of the box. So what it comes with is you'll have the Roku remote. It comes with, there's some batteries in there, uh, a wall plug, and then also the charger that you plug in the actual stick. And then it has a USB side as well that you can plug into the TV or into the wall charger there. So this is the actual Roku stick here. On this end, you have the HDMI uh, side. You'll just put that in the HDMI input, and then you'll put the, the power um, cord in there. Uh, and that, that's basically it. So first thing you want to do is once you take it out of the box, you're going to put the batteries in the remote. You're going to put the uh, Roku stick in an HDMI outlet. Um, it's probably dead. So what you're going to want to do is there's a power cord that comes with it. Just plug it into the Roku stick. And you can either plug that into an outlet or if you can use the USB part, uh, the USB end of the cord, and plug it into a USB port on the actual TV itself. And then that way you don't have cords hanging down. Um, so once, that's take, once that takes place, you can turn on your TV, turn on the HD, find the right HDMI input. And then you should see the, the prompt to start setting up your, uh, your Roku stick. So as you see here, um, the first you want to do is pair your remote. So you'll take the cover off the, the battery portion of the Roku remote and you'll see there's this button here to pair your remote. So you just push that, hold it for three seconds. All right, so as you saw here, you just hold the button, this button down on the back for three seconds. All right, so now that it's paired, you'll see on the, the TV it says, let's get started. So select your language. We'll go ahead and do English here. Then it's going to look for uh, your wireless networks. We're going to go ahead and select our home Wi-Fi uh, network here and then put in our password. All right, so once you put your password in, you just go ahead and hit connect. So you can go ahead and set different display types. Um, so you can go through that and look at different options. So you can either do, you can look, you can test if you want to do a 720 or a 1080 uh, HD. I'm going to try the 1080 HD here and see how it looks. Uh, I think it looks great on the TV, so I mean, it's going to give you the option. You can go and look at both of them, but I'm going to say yes, the screen looks good, and go ahead with that. Um, so the next step, you need to, to activate your Roku. Um, what you want to do is get either on a phone or a computer or a, a tablet if you have one, and then go to the roku.com backslash link, and then you enter the code on the screen, and this will allow you to activate your new Roku. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we're going to go to... Roku.com slash link here. All right, so now it's going to ask you see down here in the link code, it's asking for a prompt for our Roku access. So we're going to go ahead and put in the prompt that it gives us on the TV. And once we have it, we'll just hit submit there. Um, so we don't have an account yet, so we're going to go ahead and create one. You can go ahead now, if you want to create a new account, go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that for, for this Roku. If you already have an account, just go ahead and log in. All right, so now that we've created an account, um, it's asking us about you know which channels do we want to add to our account. So we can go through here and add um, different channels. So Netflix and Hulu, like if we wanted to unselect that, you just un unselect that and go through. And you can pick the, uh, the channels that you want to add automatically, or you can do that later through the channel store on the Roku homepage. So once I selected those channels, uh, it's starting to automatically update and add the channels to my Roku. Uh, so once it's all done loading, then we'll be able to access the Roku and start viewing content. In order to find new channels or add channels, you can go to down to search. On the left hand side, you'll see there's all these different options from home. Um, scroll down to search and then you can go in and, and type in, um, for example, Disney as a specific channel or you can go to streaming channels, which is right below it. And you can, um, you'll see there's featured, new and notable, uh, most popular is, is where you'll find um, a lot of great channels. So now you can go ahead and, and, and explore the Roku, go ahead and add channels you want to. You'll be able to go in and, and uh, log into your different accounts and whatnot. But, but you should be able to go. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below and, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. And we'd, we'd love to make more videos for you.